Mikhail Mikhailovich Bakhtin was a 20th century Russian philosopher, literary critic, and semiotician who worked on the ethics and philosophy of language, as well as different literary theories. At the time, the novel was a relatively new form of writing, having only been in existence for a couple of centuries where, by comparison, forms such as the epic, the poem, and the play had already been in existence for thousands of years. Because of this, literary critics would analyze novels in the same way they would these art forms. Bakhtin thought that this was not only an incomplete way of analyzing the novel, but an incorrect way. He proposed that the novel was a much more complex form of literature that makes use of the following complex devices, the carnival, heteroglossia, polyphony, the dialogic, and the chronotope. Bakhtin made the carnival the subject for his doctoral dissertation where he likened the novel to it. Back then, Lenten season was a time where people would fast, pray, and in general practice their faith religiously. So before then, people would hold big public celebrations in the town square, usually near the chapels, where they could binge, drink, and in general have a good time. Everything would be opposite. Good was bad, bad was good, kings were beggars, and fools were kings. A good way to imagine this is to remember the topsy-turvy song from Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Bakhtin focused on the fact that at these carnivals you could say and do almost whatever you wanted without fear of being punished. According to him, novels were the same in the sense that the author lets the characters express their thoughts and feelings without interjecting his personal views. It is because of this carnivalistic aspect of the novel that Bakhtin said that heteroglossia, polyphony, and the dialogic could arise. Heteroglossia originated from the Russian Raznoriki, which literally means different speechness. This refers to the different types of speech within the same language, such as the language of younger and older generations, or different social groups, such as gamers, athletes, and academics. It can even refer to simple differences, such as word use and sentence construction. This use of heteroglossia not only makes the text more understandable and appealing to a wider audience, but makes the dialogue seem more realistic, and the characters seem like different people talking and not just one person talking to themselves. Using this to show the differences between the characters and their different perspectives leads to a novel being polyphonic or multi-voiced. The dialogic aspect of the novel, on the other hand, refers to a complex feature seen in the narrative of first-person introspective novels, such as those written and popularized by James Joyce and as Bakhtin focused on, Fyodor Dostoevsky. This refers to how in a narrative, the character not only talks about what they think, but imagines a non-existent reader and sequentially writes in response to that imaginary reader's response. Consider the following excerpt taken from Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground. I believe my liver is diseased, however I know nothing at all about my disease, and do not know for certain what ails me. I don't consult a doctor for it, and never have, though I have a respect for medicine and doctors. Because of the level of complexity of the narrative, you could cut this up and insert plausible questions to come up with an interview type, transcript, or dialogue, such as the following where B is the non-existent reader. I believe my liver is diseased. What's wrong with it? I know nothing at all about my disease and do not know for certain what ails me. Didn't you consult a doctor? I don't consult a doctor for it and never have. Why, do you not like doctors? I have a respect for medicine and doctors. We can see here that the very nature of the introspective narrative is you talking to yourself in the form of a part of yourself being another person, or rather, what you think that other person would think, which is really actually you. Yes, it's complicated, but that's the nature of Joyce and Dostoevsky, and, as Bakhtin claims, the novel in general. Finally, we move on to chronotope, which literally means time-space. This refers to the way in which an author expresses time and space in a novel and makes them more visible, thereby also helping to define or reinforce common conceptions of a genre. For example, as Bakhtin studied, time in Greek romances or epics is expressed by the tests, trials, or obstacles the hero encounters and overcomes. In this way, a Greek epic cannot develop if the hero does nothing heroic, and this defines the epic. Just like how in a romance novel, 
A story cannot progress unless there's some sort of progression or development between the main character and their love interest, whether it be them becoming more intimate or them becoming more distant. In summation, Bakhtin said that the novel is way more complex than other forms of literature and should therefore be appreciated and analyzed as such. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or to message any of the members of our group. Thanks for watching. Take care.